Hello, beautiful creatives. I have such an exciting video for you this week. I'm so stinking excited. I can't wait to share this with you because I am going to be unboxing gifts from my reps. And this time when they reached out and told me that they would be sending me gifts, I asked for gifts for my patrons too. So I'm not only going to be unboxing these, but I'm going to be revealing some upcoming giveaways that I'm going to be doing on Patreon. So I'm going to flip the camera around and chat about that a little bit. Okay, I just took a deep breath because I feel like I need to take a deep breath before I launch into this video because there's so many emotions up and down. Um, this has been a roller coaster week for Don and I. For those of you that have followed us for a long time, um, without getting into a whole crazy story here, today we finally got the news that we got permission to subdivide our land and sell off some of our land. So we are so grateful for your prayers. Oh my gosh, so grateful for your prayers. We are thanking God. We are just so, so happy for that news. As a matter of fact, Don got me a gluten-free cookie. He just came up to the studio and picked up a gluten-free cookie and a glass of milk on the way home. So I hope I don't have cookie crumbs and a milk mustache all over my face. We are so happy. Let the healing begin. You know, we can, yeah, it, it, yeah. I'll talk more about it on Patreon, but we're very, very happy about it. I have received, oh, another thing is that um, thanks to one of my viewers, I wouldn't have even known, but a couple of viewers commented on, I guess it was last week's video, that Jenna Rainey had, I had made her, top 10 list, uh, you, top 10 best YouTube uh, watercolor art art list. Uh, so go check out Jenna Rainey's channel, her watercolor channel. She has an amazing channel. I'm still kind of in shock that I made her top 10 list. Um, yeah, wow, how did that happen? I don't know, but you guys were great to let me know and I was very excited about that. I did have the two hour appointment, two hour long appointment with a mast cell specialist. That actually was very confusing and didn't go as I had hoped, but I'm going to save that for a Patreon discussion later on because this video is about celebrating. It's about answered prayers. It's about gratitude for those of you that have been following us on this journey. And it's about gifts, amazing gifts that I have received. Well, that one's too heavy to lift up, but then there's this one and then there's this gorgeous one. And I'm going to save the best for last. Look at this gorgeous package. It is so lovely. So I'm going to open gifts for you, but I made up my mind early on. I just finished doing a portfolio clean out of my old portfolios and I um, offered them up to my patrons. I went through, it was four videos long, piles of paintings. And um, I said to my patrons, if you see anything you like, screenshot it, message me, and I will ship them to you. All you have to do is pay for shipping. The artwork's free. So we did that. It was four videos in one week. It was a lot. I got really exhausted, but some of my old artwork that I was just going to probably toss anyways is going to new homes. I'm very happy about that. And this is how amazing my patrons are. They, I sent them the PayPal invoices for uh, shipping, and a couple of them have already sent me very generous tips. They're just, they're just amazing. Don's been out of work because he had surgery. Um, they know that funds have been tight and they're, they're tipping me for sending them free paintings. But I made up my mind early on this year that 2024 was going to be my give back year to give back to my YouTubers, to give back to my patrons, just to give back in general because um, your support while Don and I have been on this crazy journey with health and the mastocytosis, uh, figuring out what this kind of cancer means, if it is cancer. It's been crazy. Um, the mold in the house, trying to get the cottage built. It's just been up and down, up and down for a year and a half. And this is such a day of celebration for me. And it couldn't have been a better day to have planned this video of opening gifts in front of you guys. And then talking about a couple of giveaways that I'm going to be doing for my patrons just to show my appreciation for their support. And I'm hoping if it goes well, you know, I, my energy, 
is unpredictable with this new doctor. I'm starting tons of new meds. Um, over the next six month period, I'm undergoing testing and medication trials. I may get a lot better. I may get worse for a while. I don't know. So everything as always depends on how my health is. So far, I'm doing really good on one of the new medications. I mean, this just started. So I have to be careful that I don't over promise when I'm feeling good. But right now there's a guaranteed two giveaways that are be gonna be going on at some point on Patreon. Now I've rambled enough. I just am so grateful and so happy today and feeling so blessed. I'm going to flip the camera around. Oh, let me show you this first. I'm taking Misty Mons poetry and poetry within art or poetry and art workshop right now. I think you can probably still get in if you haven't signed up already. And Misty Mon hasn't done a workshop in a long time and she gives amazing workshops. Um, she's not sponsoring this. I actually paid for my workshop. I didn't get a free workshop for this, but this is my first um, painting. It's, so this was uh, to match a self portrait with a poem. And um, this is, if you haven't seen this, it's on my Instagram and Facebook page and the poem is listed with it there. But this was my first interpretation of a self-portrait with my beloved ravens whispering in my ear and a luna moth up on my forehead and flowers. Um, I'm really loving this workshop, you guys. So, and I'm loving that I'm being blessed right now with enough energy to do it. So, yay, praise God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Okay, let's turn this around so I can show you the gifts that I got and a couple of gifts that I'm going to be sharing with my patrons. Mwah. Thank you so much for your prayers. Okay, so this first one isn't a gift so much as it is a really lovely handmade um, Christmas card from Art Toolkit, the Art Toolkit team. And if you have ever watched my Art Nest videos or some of my plein air videos, you will have seen me using um, my Art Toolkit, which I absolutely love. I have a dry gouache palette and a couple of watercolor palettes and a folio from them. Um, I'll put a link to one of those videos here. And as always, under every video, since I became an affiliate with them, there's a coupon code if you should decide that you want to purchase anything from Art Toolkit. And it's under all of my videos since I've become an affiliate. But look at this card. Beautiful handmade, handwritten note. Happy holidays, Linda. It has been so great getting to know you this year and your work continues to be such an inspiration. Thank you for all you do and I can't wait to see what you do in 2024. Happy painting and happy new year. And Cole is the one that I deal with, the person that I deal with, um, you know, when we need to talk about anything having to do with the company. Um, and this is from the owner of the company and she drew an art nest, you guys. What? How awesome is that? She drew an art nest. I, wow. Well, I mean, can you imagine how many people they sent cards to? Wow, I'm so blessed by that. Um, Linda's Art Nest of Inspiration, a little heart. Thank you for sharing your love of art and helping make it more accessible to those with chronic illness and pain. Oh my gosh, that just, that's beautiful. That's like worth as much or more to me than, than the big bags of gifts. That personal touch of my art nest, you guys, you know how much my art nest means to me and it means so much to me that my videos have inspired so many of you to make art nests of your own. So this is cherished. I will cherish this and hang it on my wall. Okay, so I hope these bags aren't gonna be too rattly. And full disclosure, a couple of these things I just put in gift bags that I had laying around to make it look more interesting. But the beautiful one in the pink box came wrapped that way. So the first item is from a company that I have never worked with before. And last, the last couple of years, what I have done is I have turned down every other company that has asked me to review products except for Paul Rubens. Um, I had various reasons to, for doing that because I was ill and um, very fatigued. I just didn't have a lot of energy to review. I don't need a ton more art supplies. I have, I'm blessed to have lots of art supplies that my viewers give me um, and that companies give me. So 
this year, because right away, I mean, before 2024 even hit, I had decided that this was going to be my year to give back. Um, I started saying yes to some new companies, but the key, the key was if they were willing to send me two of the items so that I could demo and have and use uh, one set in my um, studio and that I could have a set to give away to my patrons because it's really, my patrons are my life breath right now, my bread and butter for helping me pay medical bills and actually household bills at this point now that Don is not working as much. I, it's that important to me. So I want to give back, especially to my patrons. So what this is, is these are soft oil pastels. They're in two sets and, um, I'm trying to see on here where it says what the color, there are two different color sets and it's all in Chinese. So I'm gonna to have to try to, f maybe it says inside. So we'll open this one first. And that's what the cover looks like. V again, very nice box. These companies, this was just um, a warning that was inside and because I am gonna be giving one of these away, this was the plastic wrap on the outside. I decided I'd probably better stick it on the inside. These are made in China and there is a 14 plus warning. So it says that these are for professional adults to use, professional artists to use, not made for children on that warning. So this set comes with a little swatch card. Um, it has numbers, which are probably just the color numbers. Um, but I really didn't get that much information on them. So I don't have a whole lot to share with you. Usually, like when I ask Paul Rubens for information, they're usually really good about sending me all kinds of info. Um, yeah, it has color names. I don't see pigment info right off the bat. Uh, oh, okay, so here's the different sets names. Classic color set, Macron set, Morandi set, classic color, and then it gives you some tips on using them. Shows you some different techniques. Overlaying, color series blending. Um, but I don't know how to tell which set this is, which seems odd. I don't know how I'm gonna figure that out. Uh, maybe what I'll have to do is go online and match the picture on the box, because unless I'm being super dense, I don't see it written on here. Huh, okay. So this set <laughs> is this. And they are pretty big. They're pretty chunky. And they're square, which is really fun. Really big square. You know, you could get some really fine lines with those square lines. That's kind of what attracted me to this set. So when I look this up later on, I'll try to remember to type on the screen which set is which. Big, chunky, bright colors. Is there the information on them is mostly in um, Chinese. Let me get out my trusty magnifying glass and see what I can see here. Yeah, it's in Chinese. Not very helpful. Yeah, unfortunately, they don't give you much information on them. It still doesn't say which set this is, because inside it says single color, classic color, Mirandi, Macaron. Yeah, it doesn't say which one this is, though. Hmm. Okay, well, it's a mystery. We'll have to try to figure that out a different way. But there they are, some pretty colors. Let's grab a scrap paper and just try to scribble with one. Okay, so just grab a piece of scrap paper and just scribble with a couple of them. I don't think I'll have time to swatch all this stuff out in this video, but... 
just to show mm, they're, they're creamy. They seem like they would blend nicely. Let's try um, a red and a yellow-ish color. Oh, they do. They do blend nicely. Wow. Huh, they do blend nicely. Okay, so that is the first set. And the company that sent them to me was Lightwish, which I have never worked with before. This is the first product that I've gotten from them. And again, I don't see anywhere where it says what set this is. Oh, I didn't look at the back. Does it say on the back? No. Hmm. Maybe unless you read Chinese. Look at the sides. Nope, it doesn't say. So this is a different color. Oh, this one has, I didn't see this in the other one. I don't know what it is. But it's got a core thing to scan. Booklet. Is it the same booklet as in this one? Yep, same booklet. And the swatch card. And then these colors. So these look more pastel-y to me. The first set, let's look at them side by side. I was worried about mixing the paperwork up, but the paperwork doesn't seem to give you much information. But side by side, that's what the colors look like. And they have double, double size black, really big. That's not two sticks, that's just a double size stick. A double size white along with a single white and a single black, which is really kind of nice that they do that. I love that they have grays. Love these for skin tones. Ooh, yeah. So these seem like a darker, maybe this is the classic set, I'm not sure. And this looks like maybe a more pastel set. And since I do so many portraits, I may end up keeping this more pastel set and giving away the more vibrant set. I'm not sure. I'll decide which one I'm going to give away, and then I will do a giveaway on these in Patreon, and I will talk about that over on Patreon. These are very heavy. Wow, really heavy. So this may be a giveaway that I do for U.S. only, um, just purely because I can't imagine what the postage would be shipping them abroad but we'll see we'll see what happens you know i'm new to doing giveaways so there's a learning curve and i have to deal with my fluctuating energy so uh yeah it would be nice if i was going to say it would be nice if my viewers would be patient with me as i'm learning but they always are you guys always are patient so that is the first uh gift from light wish and that will be a giveaway um Oh, this one I'll do next. This isn't a gift from a rep. This just came at the same time, so I decided to throw it in a bag. This is a gift, a gift card that Don's, Don's middle daughter, his middle daughter gave me a gift card to Hobby Lobby, and I had never heard about Hobby Lobby before. I, you know, you guys that watch me know I don't get out, so I didn't know what that was. And um, Beatrice had given me that set of Liquitex Basics Acrylics, and I loved them. I did not expect to, but I absolutely loved them. And they were missing some colors that I really rely on, like Burnt Sienta, Burnt Umber, um, Yellow Oxide. And so I ordered some, and like a, a good rosy color to mix with Quinacridone Magenta, Ultramarine Blue. I think it was a primary blue they had in that set. And Cad Red, they had a primary red. So I filled in the selection of paints with that gift card and I got um, these wax resist uh, sticks. If you're on my Patreon, 
you will remember how much fun we had doing wax resist paintings. Well, these are clear wax resist sticks and it was really cheap at Hobby Lobby. It was $1.99 for this pack. So this is gonna be super fun for doing wax resist when I don't wanna add color because I've been using crayons. And I know some people use candles and stuff, but this, this you could really draw something fine with. So that was a fun gift um, from a gift card. I think this was birthday or something from Dawn's daughter. Um, and then this one is from a different rep at Paul Rubens. So I normally work with Karen and this, um, I can't, um, my mind is blanking out on her name right now. I'm thinking it's Emily. Yes, Emily. So I asked her for two so that I could do a giveaway on Patreon. And because this is light, I will probably try to do an international giveaway. Also, Emily had sent me these. Last time I did a video on this set comparing Paul Rubin's new Chow Mei watercolors, which is the student, and I compared that to the Paul Rubin's art, professional artist's watercolor that Karen had sent me. So that is a video. I'll try to remember to put a link up, up on top for that. Remember the links don't show on TV. They only show on computer or uh, computer or phone, I think. At least that's the way it is with my TV. So this was the tube set of the, <laughs> I always get caught on how to say that, Chow Mei. And this is the palette set. And I'm so excited about this. Um, the back has, I gotta use my magnifier. My vision is not that great anymore. The, the back has the, okay, it has the pigment number, the light fastness, and the name of the color on the back. And it's a nice light um, plastic case, but it's, it's portable, it's light, I like that. And then inside it has this plastic protector with the color names, which I think what I will do is probably attach this to a piece of heavier watercolor paper and put it back here or something. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna wanna save this on a piece of paper. And it has the colors beautiful assortment of colors. And at some point I'll do a swatching of these. Um, I probably won't have time in this video, but there's, okay, so that lifts out. Okay, so that may be, I think that's what I'll do. I'll put this on a piece of paper and stick it back there. And that way, if I want to use this for mixing, I can just lift that out. But so you could take this out and then you can use the back and that for mixing. That's pretty cool. And then, oh, it looks like, oh, okay. It looks like you have slots in here to also pop these out. Hmm, not sure how that works. I don't know. I'm not having too much luck popping them out. They are moving around in there. They're just really tight. Let me get a palette knife. Okay, so I probably just wasn't doing it hard enough with the plastic because I was worried about breaking the plastic, but they do come out so you can refill these. So if you love the palette, you can get a set of the tubes and refill the palette. That is very, very, very cool. And I will put links to all this stuff below the video, but this is light. This is really light. I mean, to me, it feels much lighter than those metal Meaden cases with those tray inserts that are so darn heavy. This looks really, really fun. I'm super excited about this. So one for me and one for my patrons. This one, I'm not even gonna unwrap. I'll just leave it like it is. And I will do that, a giveaway of that for my patrons as a thank you. 
So I had read some of the things that they had told me about these watercolors that were special in the last video that I did of them. And um, I will read some of the points that they mentioned in the letter that they sent me. Paul Rubens is always so good about giving lots of information. I feel a little bad that I couldn't, couldn't even find on here or tell you which set this is, but I know that we'll be able to figure it out by looking at the picture. So we'll have to do that. But, okay, getting out of breath here. So what, let's see, they, their selling points are affordable price point, the perfect gift, these beautiful pigments are not only affordable, but they also are transparent, creamy, of high quality from Paul Rubens with 24 half pans for under $30. They offer exceptional value, no synthetic fillers. Um, Paul Rubens does a great job in crafting paints without synthetic fillers. You get pure high quality pigments that truly shine, are vibrant on, water, on your watercolor paper. Each color comes with light fastness information, sharing the brand's commitment to quality and longevity in your artwork. Paul Rubens puts this right on their color chart, which is included. Um, lifting, layering, mixing, pushing and pulling. The artists were able to do all of these layers and glazes, transparency, and mix them to create new shades. These watercolors excel in all these techniques. They are travel friendly. Most artists like to sit at a park outdoors on hikes. Um, perfect for plein air artists. They're vibrant, non-chalky finish makes them a great choice to your outdoor painting. Ideal for beginners, if you're new to watercolor, these paints are an excellent choice. They offer a step up from student grade paints and are a wonderful starting point for your artistic journey. Okay, so I will link the video where I swatch these two sets out and experiment, do some experimenting with these two sets up in the corner and below the video. I'll try to remember to put that link below the video. All of these products will have links below the video, their affiliate links, so you do not spend any extra money on them when you purchase them, but uh, Amazon gives me a small uh, portion of the sale when you sell them. It's actually a micro portion, but if enough of you buy products from my links, it adds up. And that's another way that you can help support me if you, don't, if you feel like the $5 a month for the Patreon is too much or you're just not wanting to lock into something monthly. Another reminder is that you can always join the Patreon for a short time and leave. You don't have to sign up for a whole year, but if you do sign up for a whole year, then you um, get a little bit of a discount. So lots of options, lots of options. So the current price of this set, I did, they did not send me a coupon code for this set. And the current price on Amazon is $28.99. When I checked, I did not see a coupon uh, for them, but you know, coupons on Amazon pop up. So always look for that. I'm just gonna pop these on here and then cut them out so that they hopefully fit behind that palette. This paper is this, I mentioned this in another video, it's the Fabriano Mixed Media Dry and Wet Techniques, 180 pound nine by 12 paper. This is the fat pad, they call it. And I have been loving this for so many different things to play around with. So I'm gonna cut this out. So I'm gonna pop some shipping tape on the back of this just to make it waterproof. So I could end up putting this back behind here. Which I may end up doing and it fits if you cut it nice and tight to the colors, it fits nicely back there. Then you can just pop that back on and I think it should close okay. Yeah, it does. Okay, great. That's going to be fun. 
Okay, and before I push these two sets off to the side, this set is what they call their classic set. And right now it's $29.98 on Amazon and they have a 15% Amazon coupon. There's 40, there's 50 pieces in 48 colors. Now, the coupon is not a coupon code that I was sent, so it won't be below the video. It's actually on Amazon. But I'll put that information right in there so I know, I remember that that is the classics color. And this one is the Mor Morandi, Mor yeah, I think it's Morandi. I think I spelled it wrong. Um, Twenty. This one's a dollar less. This is $28.98, and it also has a 15% coupon. So um, it's at a good price right now. And that's probably why they didn't give me a coupon code. So the Morandi and the Classic. And I will be doing a much deeper dive on these later on. I'll do some swatching. Whether I do that on Patreon or YouTube, I'm not sure of yet, but the giveaway will eventually be on Patreon after I swatch these out and give you guys you know, my deep dive thoughts into these pastels. That will be in another video. Okay, and now for the final, absolutely gorgeous package from Paul Rubens. This, so this is the Paul Rubens gift to their um, representatives of their products. And um, I just can't even believe how gorgeously they packaged this. I love this pink color, peachy pink. It says, hope all good things surround you with a smiley face. It has this beautiful box with this gorgeous satin ribbon tied through these slits. So I have not opened this box yet because I wanted to wait for you guys. Look at this gorgeousness. I'm such a girly when it comes to things like this. I love, I love things like this. Wow. This is a lot of stuff, you guys. Wow. I think what I'll do first is just take everything out of the box. Look at this glittery packing. That is so gorgeous. I don't know if it's showing, but it's glitter paper. Okay, so I'm gonna take each item out and just put it aside and then we'll look at them together. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. My goodness, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so let's see what is in here. Wow, this must be breakable because they wrapped it really well. Okay, actually, that's right. She did, yesterday or the day before, she did um, mention what this is to me. This is after a very famous Chinese painting. Um, and I, I think it was called Everlasting Mountain or something. I'm gonna, I'll look it up in her email and I'll, I'll paste it on the screen below. But it is a mountain sculpture and what it is, is a brush holder, she told me. You get all different little places in the peaks of the mountain. That's really pretty. I love these muted blue greens. It's really gorgeous. I don't know if it's gonna come across, but it's really pretty. So there's that. This looks like it's a pad of paper. And I have never tried Paul Rubens paper before. Okay, let's see. So this is 50% cotton, hot pressed, 300 GM. It's nicely packed. When I do swatch out that, um, this palette of watercolors. I probably won't have time in this video, but when I do a deeper dive into all of these products that have been in this video, I'll try swatching it out on the, these papers that they've sent me. Yeah, I'll definitely have to do a deeper dive into these. Nice heavy paper. 
Okay, so that's going to be, that's actually going to be a fun size um, to use in this workshop that I'm doing right now with Misty Mon. Yes, these are all the same. So a lot of really nice paper in a good size to play with. This is adorable. Looks like this is a little watercolor sketchbook. Um, so it's cotton paper, cold pressed, 20 sheets, 300 GSM, watercolor paper. They put things together in such a pretty way. They really do have a nice attention to detail. Really gorgeous um, matte finish. I love the matte finish they put on their packages. And that beautiful gold printed on there. Nice size for landscape. Oh, it's perforated. So you can pull these out. You could do like little postcard paintings almost and pull these out. Wow, this is really heavy paper. Okay, so that's absolutely adorable. That's gonna be fun to do some little landscape paintings in. This is very light. This one, what is this? They really do a nice job. This is a nice box. Ooh, a brush. Okay, so if you guys have been following me, and she probably knows about my brush addiction. Uh, wow, look at that. I do love a good brush. Paul Rubens, number four, Esprit 818. Now, I don't want to bend this until I wash the starch out because it can damage the bristles, but it's a mop and it has a very sharp point. So again, when I do a deep dive into all of these items, I will um, show you how that works on some of these papers. I'm going to have, I'm going to have a lot of videos to do with all this stuff in this haul. But that is fine. That will be fun. Okay, and then the last, last one, last item of this haul is Artists Transparent Watercolor, Fine Artists Watercolors. So this is Paul Rubens. I'm not sure which one. wrapped up in a cloth with their logo on it. Nice palette. Ooh. Ooh, look. Now I don't know, Paul Rubens, I don't know which set this is. It may say, wow, look at this though. Let's just unwrap one or two. I don't, I don't know that I'm gonna have time to unwrap and do any swatching in this one, but um, it does have the pigment number. Where's my trusty magnifying glass? Because my vision definitely is having issues these days. PB27. And it probably has um, light fastness info. If not on here, it'll have it in here. This is Prussian blue. A lot of times what I do is I just take these sticky sheets and turn them upside down so that I have the information on the other side. And that tends to work pretty well. Some people take them out and put them on a swatch sheet for when they swatch. So that's Prussian blue, filled really nicely. Wow, these are going to be so much fun to try. Oh my gosh. And I am in the middle of a workshop right now, so um, I'm not sure when I'm going to have time to play with these, but I'm going to have to make time because that is a gorgeous set. So let's see, they have a, a swatch chart, which is always really handy to have in your palette. 
And then how many colors? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twenty-four colors. So this has the pigment number on them. So let me see if I can read what the colors are on these. Permanent lemon yellow, cad yellow medium, Indian yellow, cad red light, scarlet, matter red, violet, permanent violet, cobalt blue, French ultramarine blue, sky blue, sea blue, that was Prussian blue, Payne's gray, yellow green, tree green, hooker's green, brilliant, emerald, it must mean emerald green deep, yellow ochre, love, love, love yellow ochre. Um, what's that one? Looks like Pazuli red ochre. Pazuli red ochre. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Umber, uh, burnt sienna, burned brown, and coal black. So it looks like a nice set. Oh, I can't wait to swatch this out. But this is a nice set of watercolors. So I'm going to pop that back in the box right now. Wow, I feel so blessed, you guys. What a nice haul. Really lovely chow mei, chow mei watercolor set. Wow. Gorgeous card from Art Toolkit. And the oil pastels. Wow, and these are so heavy. There is a lot of product in these boxes. Wow. Yeah, they are very heavy. Okay, look who just came up to see what I got in my art hall. The boys. the boys. Hello, Toshiba. Tung out, Toshi. Hi, buddy. Okay, my boys came to see what I got. Whoa. I got it all arranged, of course, for the cover video. Cover of the video. Look at all this stuff. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that beautiful box. The packaging was awesome. Mm, 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 Are you mm. jealous? Yeah, it's this is mine, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll do it this Some way. of it's for a giveaway. For Some of it's for a giveaway on Patreon. Hey, I gave you tons of watercolors. You need to get them out and start playing with them. <laughs> All kinds of stuff they gave me. He's going to steal my watercolors, you guys. Aren't they pretty? Beautiful. What a gift. A bunch of gifts. It's actually from different. This is from Lightwish, and that's from Paul Rubens. This is from Paul Rubens. But what do you think, Tosh? Pretty cool art haul, huh? It sure is. Wow. Yeah, I'm impressed. We'll see you over on Patreon, where I will be diving into some of these products deeper and where there will be two giveaways coming up soon. Um, yeah, we'll see how that plays out. Okay, so there is the full gift haul. And I am really feeling so grateful. I'm so grateful for all your prayers that have carried us through this really tough year and your supportive comments and all the giving, you know, in the comments and the love that you guys send to both Don and I, actually. So I will do deep dives on these items, and I'm really excited to do that and to let you know my thoughts on them. Okay, guys, I hope you have a really great creative week. Take care, and God bless. Stay creative. I'll see you in the next video.